the centre map for the centre has been out a while now. So, has it been a success? The centre of New Master has not been done by Wildcard. They have employed Grove Street Games to make it. Grove Street Games made the mobile version of Arc, if you didn't know, and the Nintendo Switch. If you think back, the centre was actually delayed because Wildcard felt that Grove Street hadn't produced the map to their standards. Which, when you watch this video, kind of is worrying. For this video, I'm going to compare three sections of the island from the Evolved to the Ascended and give my opinions and hopefully you can share yours in the comments below. Whether or not you agree with me or you've got your own feelings on the Center Remaster Hell. Even if you want to sound off on Ark Survival Ascended, feel free to do so. Okay, if we look at Skull Island first. On Ark Survival Evolved, the Skull Island was unique. The lava pits for eyes and the lava in its mouth. It looked very cool, it looked very menacing, it was unique. I used to call it the Batman cave because it looks like Batman. It's got ears. <laughs> there was something completely different we had not seen in Ark before. And this is the beauty of modders. The top was an easy place for your obsidian and your crystal. Even chitin to an extent because you could go kill all the spiders and scorpions. Now let's look at the Ascended version. For me, they've robbed the soul from the place. It looks generic now. It looks goofy with its dangling teeth. There's a thread you're going to see throughout this video, but it just looks like everywhere else. They're bloody trees and all that. The Skull Island kind of sums up my current feelings. Like, Evolved was once a great game. Ascended is a pale shadow with a paint remaster. That's all it is. And not a very good one. This is my opinion, you may disagree, you may be looking at the Ascended version think that's a massive improvement. You may be an old school player and you're looking at the Evolve going, yeah. Hope is right, we should have stayed with that design. Kano Island. Not really Kano Island, because that's the island map, but you call it Kano Island Centre. because nothing but Karnos live on it. Now on Evolved, like its bigger brother the Volcano Islands, which I'll discuss later in the video, Karno Island was a scorched wasteland of death and destruction. The islands are split into two, the side closest to the volcano having been burnt away, the side closest to blue surviving and thriving with its plantation. Plantation? Oh, the right word, plantation. Nothing could grow here and the carnivores hadn't devoured all of the herbivores now roam the land searching for a meal, picking fights with each other. On Ascended, the land is bigger and more rockier, but it looks like every other island. There are trees and rocks and it does look pretty, but where's the distinction? Where's the death and decay? They had a chance here to make something truly unique. I think they've blown it. Taking inspiration from Scorched Earth, they could have filled the land with the bones of creatures long dead. Maybe have some corpses. Ragnarok did have the beached whales after all. Make the place you truly fear stepping on. Okay, sure, a raging Rex burst on out of the trees can give you a fright, but that can happen anywhere on the map. Standing on a beach, seeing what lays ahead, should be enough to send a chill down anyone's spine. 
to me, map design should incorporate character. Okay, looking back now, Evolve looks more basic, but it's a map that's eight years old and it was made by one person. But there's thought behind it. But I like to think the shockwaves from the volcano have destroyed that side of the island. Grove Street and Wildcard could have factored this in. Maybe, I don't know, as a ruined city, they like the ruins. With charred structures and broken down structures and you could show the progression of the shockwave as it goes along. Simple little design choices. Nothing major in the bigger scheme, but when you're going around you can go, yeah, something's happened here. Before we move on to Volca Volcano Islands, if you didn't know which one's which, can you tell me honestly that nothing looks the same here? I mentioned earlier that Evolved Carno Island was caught in the remnants of Volcano Island, and this is why. The Volcano Island on Evolved is a land scorched by lava fields. There are Roman geekers and rectors. It was a unique landscape. It was nowhere else on the centre that looked like it. Sure, it's similar to Carno, but it was the bigger, scarier, meaner brother. And what we have now uh, with the centers isn't the, the island or the volcano on it. It's not unique, charm is gone. If you think I'm being harsh, this is what Genesis 1 did with your Unreal Engine 4. Wildcard might have said, save that for Genesis when we get round to making it, if they ever do. But, it's a volcano. It's a land where there's two volcanoes. There's lava bubbling from the surface. If you go into the cave, just the cave entrance, you can see that's what it should have looked like. There are burning mounds, burning columns of lava. But again, their obsession with the acids. Amidst all that, there should be, it should be heat, it should be stifling, and there's plants growing. Personally, I was really looking forward to the Ascent of that on Ascended. I loved it on Evolved. It was unique, it was something we hadn't seen before. And it showed what the true potential of a rap, of a map could be on R. Wildcard saw that potential and built on it. They gave us maps like Aberration. And please, God, don't fuck that one up. The Genesis biomes. I'm not a fan of Genesis 1, but that was six wholly unique biomes. Six or five biomes. But one of the main concerns is the most popular maps for Ark Survival Evolved are the non-canon ones. Modders were free to be as creative as possible. And the question is, what's the point of remastering them if you're just going to use the same assets over and over and over and just make everything generic and boring and samey? There's a reason Ragnarok is the most popular map on Ark Survival Evolved. And having played on the remastered center, Grove Street Games and Wildcards have given me a reason to be worried about Ragnarok Remastered. But well, that's my thoughts, what do you guys think? If you can't remember the center, or you haven't played it before, this video here shows my hopes for what the center map could have been. 